What's up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And I have a great video discussion for you today while I am on vacation in Ohio for the holiday weekend. I wanted to get a preview, a drop day preview video done last night, but we did not make it to Ohio until after midnight, so I was not able to upload a video, but I was able to watch uh, Butt Thompson live while I was on the road on the way out. Shout out to Butt Thompson, and I did post in his comments. He asked me what my prediction was going to be for the drop, and I said, well, it's going to be really hard to tell, and I don't have any hard numbers, but I did think that we were not going to see below retail prices, and thus far, I don't think it's going to happen. I think the common may have dipped below, and I could be wrong, but I have not seen it with my own eyeballs drop below the retail price. Last night, I was really busy on the market buying up so much stuff, you would just not believe it. And I'm taking chances. And this is not financial advice, but my thought was that last night might be the last hurrah. It might be the last chance to benefit from the depth of the gem squeeze over these Star Wars drops and we can already see that prices are coming up. Now, did I participate and win in the drop? Why, yes, I most certainly did. And I scored the ultra rare. I'm still in shock. I'm, I'm, I'm very shocked. I'm very grateful uh, that this happened. I can't believe it happened. And here we see the price is already surging up above 1,000. Let's go to my item. I'll show you the one that I have. Here is my addition. And look at that number, 0229. Again, I am i don't know what planets lined up for me to score the best item on the drop with a three-digit low number. I don't know. This does not normally happen to me. So, so I'm excited and I am very grateful to come away with something like this, especially after I spent so much last night on the market. But let me talk about... A couple of things on the market that I did decide to pick up. I participated in the lightsaber drop and got exactly what I wanted, which was the Kylo Ren, and I didn't care how far below retail that it would drop because that is the sword that I wanted. But we can already see that the swords are coming up in value. There's the Yoda for $32.95. I plucked one off at $25. Here is the Luke Skywalker surging up to $45. I picked one up, I believe, at $32 gems. Now, if I can find that Kylo Ren and get a current price on it, or we'll just jump into the collection later on as we're scrolling through. But I would like to get one additional Kylo Ren sword saber because I know that I'll never want to get rid of the one that I have. It's just too much fun. I'm going to have a video pretty soon here, and I'm going to talk about hoarding, hoarding these VVNFT items, and something that I've kind of come to realize, which is I might end up hoarding the majority of this stuff and never get rid of anything, because I enjoy it so much. And if I get into shooting more and more fun and silly and quirky videos, I'll probably end up keeping a lot of this stuff. Now, the stacks... I can burn through the stacks all the way down to the last one or two, and I'm good to go, and I can still make money. But some of these single items, like that Dar Darth, the Darth Vader Ultra Rare, will I ever sell that? I don't know. I think the price is going to have to be really high for me to let loose of that. We'll just have to see. Well, while on the market, I did pick up a few items that have been on the list. Let's just jump into brands. And the first set that I will tell you that I did jump in and purchase was in, uh, well, on the way there, I did get the Coca-Cola uh, neon sign. I had this from way back when on the drop, and I did snag another one for 33 gems. And I've been watching for Mr. Polar Bear a couple times. I missed him at 29 gems. If it dips down to 29 again, I will snag. And I'm done stacking. I've gotten so many of uh, the Starlight set that I'm, I'm pretty much good to go. But I'm loving these prices. 11 on that big piece of rock thing. $7.99 on the can. That's a good one to stack. And $9.50 on the ball of pop. 
And then uh, I don't have this one, but it's been down as low as 65. You can't have them all, but I might get it. We'll see. I spent too much and I have to be satisfied with what I have at some point. Okay, so first of all, in the Cover Girls set, I did pluck off a few Batgirls, and the low price that I got, Batgirl, was at 13 gems. I've been watching um, the classic Batgirl sitting at 38. That might not last long, and I might have to add to the couple that I already have. I also have two Catwoman items that are still sitting in my vault from the original at retail price. I did buy Mira at 43 gems, and it's dipped down as low as 40 or 39 but I'll be satisfied with the one. Supergirl is at 51.79. How many of these do I have now? Let's just take a look and see. Uh, I've got three. I'll probably get one more just because. But the one that I bought that I was most excited about that I've been waiting to get for a long, long time is Supergirl. Yes, I did it. I pulled the trigger. Current price, 220. Let's just jump in here and see what I paid for F. A number 1094. Well, would you look at that? 191.99. I knew that was an outlier. There was one person that had one listed at 190 gems uh, exact, and then the 191.99. It sat for long enough for maybe an hour, and I thought this is just not going to last. I feel like this is good enough of a low point, and I went ahead and snagged it. And sure enough, price came back up, so that was a nice bounce. That was number one. Now, I do have four Wonder Woman. I might add one, and I bought this thing everywhere from, what, 250 down to 32 gems, I think was the cheapest one. Let's see what the cheapest one was. All right, jumping on in here, number 7091 was the most recent, and I paid 35 gems. Okay, so I might add one more. I'm doing the DCA game, dollar cost averaging on a lot of this stuff. And the reason why I'm comfortable with what I did last night is because I'm going to hold this stuff for a year or two. I'm not going to get up off of it. I'm going to be fine watching the values and riding the market cycle peaks and then the distribution phases where I take stuff out of the stacks during the market cycle peaks and put things back in during the distribution phase. But I'm not going to go bananas and think that I'll need to sell anything for the next couple of years because I want maximum value and to turn this investment into cash later on. Okay, let's scroll on down and show you uh, the other item that I was most excited about. By the way, Knight Rider, check out the price. Okay, it's all the way up to 70. We were at 55. I considered grabbing another, and I thought it would come down lower because of how low we've seen the drivable DeLorean dropping. Well, I was wrong about that. All right, so let's just keep it moving here and jump down. Uh, by the way, the Mickeys, the Mickey and Friends, this might be the last chance to pick these things up at these prices. I saw Daisy Duck hit 65 gems. Maybe I was seeing things. Donald Duck, I saw hit 94 gems. I consider grabbing that one. Mickey Mouse at 79. It was as low as 71. And I know I saw Minnie Mouse at 64 gems. So these are already floating back up, which is what I expect because we're done with the barrage of the Star Wars drop. Now, I did not jump in and get the uh, the retrospectives. This is shooting back up. It was as low as 275. We're already at 360, but the crates, um, 197. Low point was about 174. I don't know if I want to spend the money on that just yet, but I really do want those items. Well, here it is, and then we'll end it up here. This is what I've been hovering over and waiting for a long, long time. The Uncommon Spider-Man hanging out with 93 left on the market, current price of 179 Let's look and see what I bought my Uncommon back for when I did snag it during the gym squeeze. I purchased this thing for, yes, you read that right, 135 gems. I knew that was a low point. And I had to jump on it. It was an outlier. Whenever you see a gap 
of like 20, 30 gems on items like that, you know it's an outlier and a desperate seller. That's when you strike like a cobra in the grass, as Crypto Kirby says. I love it when he says that. So outliers are your chance to really good, good values. And I think both of those were outliers at the time, and I'm pretty excited about that. Well, I'm going to hang around and watch and see what happens on the market with our, wow, 164, I'm getting distracted already, with our Star Wars items. And we'll just see how things go and whether or not I get the uh, common and uncommon, which are fantastic pieces. The common is sitting at 89.50. That's not bad. And the uncommon at 119. I like them both. And I think I might just go ahead and grab a common. Well, that's all. Let me know how you did in the drop. I would like to know. And please do me a favor. I would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to the Crypto Pro channel. And thank you for tuning in on this holiday weekend. I will have much, much more coming your way. But I just wanted to ramble on and give you an update and let you know what was going on and what I have been up to last but not least i'll give you my count let's see here i have uh 582 all right 582 collectibles 636 comics and i will have that uh new comic strategy coming your way so you can see why i have so many comics and that is all that i have for right now this is carlton and i am out <laughs>